Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, something from my series, Wish List for Bitcoin in 2019. Uh, one of the things that I would really like to see in Bitcoin is a really easy to use coin join. Now, coin join services um, exist today and they're sort of anonymizing services for Bitcoin. But for privacy's sake, having something that is easily integrated into wallets um, that can be done really quickly um, or relatively quickly within a few hours or a couple of days at the most um that doesn't cost very much and um you know maybe just like the price of fees or something like that that would be ideal that's what i would like to see now wasabi wallet comes pretty close um it's a desktop light wallet that you can use um and it's back 32 only so um if you if you are using it then you're only going to generate back 32 addresses which means that it's all on segwit and things like that um but it has a coin join feature which is kind of nice um but you know like there's it's not exactly friendly yet because it's not entirely clear how much will go into fees and things like that and uh, how much is being paid to whom. And th th those are things that you would like to know as somebody that's running a wallet. But CoinJoin is very important because it gives you the ability to delink your transactions. If you are joining with a bunch of other folks and doing a coin join and then uh, having outputs uh, sent back to you that are more or less anonymous, that's a really nice thing because that means that, um, you know, like no, nobody's going to be able to track you uh, or at least that's the hope anyway. Who knows how good, um, you know, a lot of these coin analysis firms will get. Uh, but right now, the way most people use Bitcoin wallets, it's it's pretty easy to figure out who you are if you even have like one or two transactions. So every counterparty that you do transactions with. So, for example, if you um, if you bought something uh, from Expedia using Bitcoin at some point in the past, they can go and figure out, you know, I mean, with a decent degree of uh, probability how much Bitcoin you might have and own, or at least is linked to that wallet. And that's not a good situation. And th this is something that like, uh, is quite frustrating because oftentimes you want to, uh, for example, give a little bit of Bitcoin to a friend to see, you know, like how, uh, so that they can use uh, that Bitcoin or store it or whatever, uh, or pay them back or something like that. But you know, you, you don't necessarily want your friend to know exactly how much Bitcoin you have. Uh, from sort of like a social standpoint, that can get kind of awkward. So it, it's important to have that privacy and something like a really good coin join um, prevents, you know, your friends from just looking at the chain analysis and figuring out that you have X amount of Bitcoins. And um, and that that's, that's an important thing. And that's something that I would like to see. Um, if you have other anonym, uh, anonymization uh, solutions, um, I would love to hear them. I mean, the, the only other one that's like reasonable um, that, that I know that you can use is deposit like however much Bitcoin that you want in like a separate wallet into an exchange then take it out of the exchange fairly soon after. Um, and it'll be fairly hard for somebody that's not, that doesn't have like the logs of that exchange and somebody that, um, you know, uh, like can do chain analysis to figure out like uh, that you own however much Bitcoin. So that's that's a decent way to at least set up a wallet, uh, a separate wallet that's uh, separated from everybody else. Um, but that, again, the, the exchange will at least know, um, and oftentimes they're the people that you don't want uh, to reveal certain things to. So, um, yeah, so, some things to think about. Hope that helps you. This song is done.